You are the coldest, cutest, most buoyant screw ever. Yes. Here's some of the equipment that I use for my boys. When they're first getting started, I like using a tiny little tank like this guy here. You can actually get this thing mounted on their back or side mounted for the kids, but all I do usually is I actually put this on some kind of flotation device, just let the kids breathe off of it. Sometimes I'll even put a seven foot hose on there so that way they can just do glorified snorkeling really from a regulator. When they're starting out, I like getting them a small little wetsuit. Pinnacle makes a great little suit here. Uh, this is actually a two-piece. Uh, then, of course, we upgraded as they got bigger to the Aqualung. I like these wetsuits because of the neoprene. They are very soft. The kids can get in them very easily. Okay, let's move on over here. So now we're gonna talk about the masks. So there's different types of masks that you can actually get for the little guys. I actually got this Cressy on Amazon. You can buy it at your local dive shop, I'm sure. These work great for children, especially kids with smaller faces. Then as they get a little bit older, Sea Dive actually makes this guy here. This is one of their Ray Blocker HD series masks, and it works really good actually. It's, a, it's made for a smaller face. I have a very narrow face, some of my kids do as well. So this is a great little mask for them to use. Let's talk about fins. So now when kids are growing up, it's hard for them to find a fin that actually works for them. So. This particular fin is made by head. I, this is not a scuba diving fin, rather it is a snorkeling fin. It's pretty rigid, but for the pool, this is awesome for the little guys. Something like this will work just fine to get them learning how to kick. My boys actually learned how to frog kick using these fins. Of course, once they start getting open water certified, you gotta take it more serious. And we actually bought them the Cressy Rondine. So they're, a, they're an awesome little fin, recommend them highly. Now, this is what we wanna talk about. You see this right here, this is a 60 cubic foot tank. So this is a, a lot smaller than the 80 cubic foot. It's a lot lighter and the kids can carry this on their back. You can actually get a small 50 as well. It's even smaller than this. So they do make tanks for smaller people. This is the tank I use for my boys. I bought two of them. Come over here, Michael. So this is the Ranger Zeagle Jr. This is an awesome BCD. And this is the reason I like this. The Ranger Zeagle Jr. can grow with the child. So you see here, it has little Velcro straps. So I can actually take this and extend this and make it a couple inches longer. And then of course you have all these different adjustments that we can make for the kid. I have the cumber button. I can actually enlarge that as they get a little bit bigger. This is an awesome BCD, not only for kids, but teenagers and actually small adults could actually fit in this thing just fine. It has pretty, pretty good lift to it. And one thing I really like about this is the fact that it's very similar to what I use, which is like a back plate and wing style where all the buoyancy is actually on their back and it helps put them into a good trim position. It's a great little BCD. So Mike, come around this side. This is the Zeagle Ranger Junior BCD all set up with that 60 cubic foot tank with the regulator. This is a yoke style reg. You can also, of course, get the kids a DIN style reg. We have one of those here as well. So this is it all set up here and we're ready to go diving with the kids. So I have my son Camden. He's going to be getting in the pool with me and helping me clean today. And we're going to film some of that. What do you think, buddy? You ready to get in the pool and do some uh, cleaning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll get you set up. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get you all hooked up here. Let's tighten these bad boys down. Okay. Let's tighten this one here down. I need my regulator. I'll get your regulators. Ow. Okay. Octo. Okay. Get your. What does your pressure gauge say? What does your SPG say? How many pounds per square inch do we got? Three thousand. We got a. That's right. We got a full. Okay. Breathing good. Okay. Where's your fins? Let's go get your fins on. Well, you too. You too, sir. All right, Camden. Are you ready to go under? Yeah. Okay. Put your regulator in your mouth. <laughs> Breathing good? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go.
Okay, Caleb, go. <laughs> He's the cutest, youngest, and most buoyant scuba diver ever. Yes, but we, you're not going to touch that, okay? Because you're too little. Shivering. Daddy is going to... I will touch that for you, okay? Okay, let's tighten, tighten your comfort button. You are the coldest, cutest, most buoyant screw ever. Coldest, yes. Coldest, cutest, too. I love you. I love you, baby. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Regulator always in your mouth. You never go... Don't put your head underwater until that's in your mouth, okay? Don't hug us. And so wrinkly. What are you guys doing under there? You look like grandpas. You're wrinkly? <laughs> we're, we're, we're like grandpas. <laughs> so we just got out of the pool. Camden did a great job cleaning it. Caleb also did a great job. That's the first time he got in a BCD. Of course, it was a little big for him, but he was so cute. He did a good job. Got Michael under there too. He's been out of the water for a little bit. So it was nice getting all my boys breathing on the regulators together. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like that video, please consider subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and of course, hitting that bell for future notifications. If you'd like to watch a couple more videos, here's a couple more. You dive safe, and I'll see you in the water.